Hello, I'd like to show you how to remove sections from a video using Windows Live Movie Maker. I've made a test video for the purpose of this and left gaps at the beginning, in the middle and at the end. I've even introduced a mistake and left the gap after the mistake just to show that if you do make a mistake whilst you're making a video, if you leave a gap after it, it makes it a little bit easier to edit. Before I start doing this, um, I'd like to point out a few things here that we need to take a note of as we're, we're doing this. First of all, there's the timer here, which shows the position at the start of the video and how long the video is. So it's, it's just over 34 seconds here. The other thing that we need to observe is the storyboard on the right, which I can make uh, bigger or smaller using this slider at the bottom. Okay. And there's a marker, which at the moment at the beginning is at the beginning, which is this, this black line here. And as we play it, that's going to move along. So without further ado, I'm going to play the video so you can see where the gaps are. Hi, this is Stuart Chalmers, and I'm making a quick test video so that I can show how to edit uh, videos using Microsoft Windows Live uh, Movie Maker, which is a free editing software. So I've left a little gap at the beginning, and I'm going to leave a little gap in the middle. And that's my gap, and I'm going to make a quick mistake, so um, uh, I've just said the wrong thing, so I'll leave a little gap after that. And I'm going to leave a gap at the end. So that's the video. I'm going to start off by removing the gap at the beginning of the video. And I know because I prepared it earlier that this starts um, this starts at the beginning and goes on to about 3.5 seconds. So um, I'll play the video and observe the counter here for when I start speaking. Hi. Right, it moves, back, moves past fairly fast. So I'll just back it up by moving the slider to 3.5 seconds. And if I need to move it back more finely, I can use these backwards and forward buttons here. So let's just move it back, back and I'll hit the play. Hi, this is Stuart Chalmers and I'm and I think about 3.5 seconds is fine. Just back it up a bit more. Now I'm going to use the split tool here to cut the video here and it will make two videos, one on the left and the bigger one on the right. Now there are other tools. I could use the trim tool to cut off the beginning and the end, but for the sake of keeping it simple, you can do all this with the split tool. So I'll just show you how to use the split, split tool at the moment. So let's split it there. So there's two videos and you can see that if I move the marker back and play it, the gap is in this section and I start talking very near to the beginning here. So let's play it. Hi, this is Stuart. So let's remove this section here by right clicking it and clicking the remove option here. Now, if I make a mistake, I can undo or redo things. So there's the undo and redo buttons at the top. And notice that I can use Control Z to undo and Control Y, Control y will let me redo it. So let's do Control Z. There it's come back and um, if I hit the redo button or control Y, it'll it'll get rid of it again. So if I play it from there. Hi, this is Stuart Chalmers. There's a slight pause before I start speaking, but that's fine. We don't want me to be speaking absolutely the beginning of it. It is good if there's a slight pause. So let's go and find the gap in the middle. I'm making a quick test video so that I can show how to edit uh, videos using Microsoft Windows Live uh, Movie Maker, which is a free editing software. So I've left a little gap at the beginning. And I'm going to leave a little gap in the middle. So that's the gap. That's the start of the gap. And that's my gap. So let's get rid of that. Now, I know that that was around about 16 seconds because I've checked already. So let's go back to 16 seconds one more little bit. 1602, that will be fine. And the marker is there on the storyboard. So I'm going to use the split function. And that's given me the, the good bit from the beginning and the gap is in this section here. So let's find the end of the gap. And that's my... So that's about 
so just over 17 seconds. Let's just go back to there and play. And that's my just a little after six, 17 seconds. So I'd say about there. And that's my game. 17.30 I think it is. That'll do. We'll go from there. So there's the marker on the storyboard. If I hit the split, we've now isolated this section, which should be all gap. So let's put the marker there and we'll play it. And that's my game. Brilliant. So now let's right click it and we'll remove it. If I put the marker back here and play from here, I'm going to leave a little gap in the middle and that's my gap. That gap's pretty much gone. Of course you could clip more bits off of it, off of it if you wanted to. So let's go to the end. And I'm going to make a quick mistake. So um, uh, I've just said the wrong thing. So I'll leave a little gap after that. I'm not going to remove that in this session, that little mistake. I, I just put that in to demonstrate that if you leave the gap, it's a little bit easier to edit it and remove that mistake if you need to. And I'm going to leave a gap at the end. So there's my gap, and I think that was about 27 seconds. Let's go back a bit before. About 27 seconds, I think, would be right. So we'll go back there to 27 seconds, and we'll split the marker there, and remove that section. So if we pop back a little bit to there, and I'm going to leave a gap at the end. That's the gap gone. So that's how to remove sections very simply using the split tool in the video tools option of Windows Live Movie Maker.